this is basically loads of people exposing Brendan Sharp for cheating on his missus, Bobby Lee's girlfriend, uh, Whitney Cummins, and Bert Kreischer, and some other bird. I don't know who that other bird is. She's fit though. Uh, yeah, let's start with Bobby Lee's. Bobby Lee on Bobby Lee's wife on feeling guilty. <laughs> It turns out Bobby Lee's wife and Annie have talked about Brendan Shaw being a creep before. So I'm going to go ahead and play this to give you my thoughts on it. But, oh, they drop even more info about just what a creep Brendan Shaw is. It's weird, though. Like, I remember seeing this one guy who, like, cheats on his fucking girl all the time. Mm -hmm. And this he's hit on you. Family. This guy is hit on yeah, you. Yeah, he slid into he's my hit DMs. On you too. Like, slid into he's my hit DMs. He's on you? Yes, yeah, he's you hit know he's like, Bobby. honestly, you need to reevaluate <laughs> a year long. I mean, we've had a couple conversations and it just never went there. <laughs> <laughs> These comedians don't want me. It's not just the comedians, Esther. <laughs> We're glad you're here today. We wanted to tell you. <laughs> but anyway, so, yeah, so I, I see this guy with his, like, family and at the mall and i felt so guilty what mall was it century city yeah and but it, it was just like i felt like my face was like hot when i met and it wasn't like i've done nothing i've only rejected this person's advances yeah i've never like seen him hook up with anyone else i just know from the way he talks to yeah, me that he talks to everyone else like this yeah. and it even though you didn't do nothing and it sort of like you just have some feel like oh, i should this person should know this shit. Well, you think it's business, but yeah. Was just so. I mean, I was just bright red. I, I, I mean, I pulled it off. I made some joke about. You yeah. Got a rich guy. But that's what I'm saying. It's like that secondhand like embarrassment or that secondhand guilt that shouldn't yeah. even be guilt, but it's there because you just happen to be like the object of their like. You know what uh, I mean? It, right. It, it's weird though. Like I remember seeing this one guy who like cheats. They're they're talking about this as if. They were in Vietnam together and sharing their war <laughs> stories of Brendan Schaub just hitting on them. But what a scummy thing to do, trying to hit on Bobby Lee's wife. I mean, this chick, she's single, but like everyone, all of them know you're married and they all know your wife. By the way, did you catch they mentioned which mall? And if you ever follow Brendan Schaub's wife on Instagram, oh, she loves going to that Century City Mall. But, uh, yeah, this was a, a older clip, by the way, so they've discussed this before, and uh, they're talking about Brendan Schaub. Damn, Bapa. But uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Well, I don't know. Yeah, that could be. I don't know. I don't fucking follow <laughs> Brendan Schaub's wife, so I can't fucking know that. Um, Whitney Cummins now. So that's Bobby Lee's wife. I don't know who that bird is. But Bobby Lee's wife. Just saying. And that's liberties that is Bobby Lee misses as well. But yeah, this is Whitney Cummins now. Whitney Cummings went on Barstool Sports, KFC Radio specifically. And uh, she had some stuff to say about Brendan Schaub. Papa. So I'm going to play this. Then I'm going to give you my thoughts on it because uh, everyone's just turning on this guy. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and check out what Whitney Cummings had to say about Brendan. It's not, it's not great. But here's the thing. I'm actually also, but here's what I'll say. I'm going to be, look, I'm not 25. I'm not one of these girls that's like, I've got all these standards. Like, by the time you get older, you start going like, you know what? I've done all, every version of this. A guy that is like too hygienic and like obsessed with their appearance and like that. That's unattractive too. A guy that has like the exfoliant and like, you know, I mean, I dated a guy, this is probably more LA thing, who had like concealer for zits and like, you know, like shit that was like, his, his name might rhyme with Menden smob but here's the thing I, I 
just you don't want the guy that's self-obsessed and like a malignant narcissist that's gross too you know like um the bachelorette was on my podcast recently the girl from the to be fair sounds more like brendan sharp fucked her off and she's because the other two are like more saying it like they're just talking about it and they didn't say his name so it's not like i mean they are talking about it on a podcast and putting it out and people have worked out who it is but they didn't actually say his name they are just talking about it Winnie Cummins seems more like, yeah, she's pissed off, and she's just saying, like, shit. Last season, um, Katie Thurston's her name, mm -hmm. and, you know, her, the bachelors, I guess those people, they meet and they get engaged after, like, knowing each other a month, so she's finding out all these things, and I'm like, what's the weirdest thing you've uh, found out since, and she went, and I walked in on him showering, and he was cleaning his asshole. He was squatting on the ground in a, like a pitcher position, cleaning his ass. What? <laughs> yeah, but think of it. I saw. Right, that's enough of your babbling, Cummings. But, yeah. uh, <laughs> Brendan Chom uses pimple concealer. <laughs> but you know, Whitney Cummings is the one to talk. I mean. God knows how much work that woman's had done to her. But why does everyone love trashing Brendan Schaub so much? Yeah. And these are supposed to be all his colleagues and friends. And she used to date Brendan. And constantly Brendan just keeps getting thrown under the bus. What are we doing here? I don't, I don't get the dislike for him. Well, I do get it, but <laughs> I just love the fact that everyone loves trashing this guy and everyone loves hearing him get trashed. Like when she said that, the KFC radio guys are like, yeah, because I think they hate Brendan Job. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Yeah, could this not be the same fucking, like, the same thing as what hot girls get, where hot girls get like sort of treated differently. Um, is this not what people are doing to Brendan Sharp? A lot of people hating on Brendan Sharp. I mean, not uh, the first one, but that one. And like that radio show, what the fuck has Brendan ever done to you? Like, it's just fucking no skin off my nose if he cheats on his missus. It's fucking up to you, like. Do your thing, but yeah, them boys on that fucking or whoever does that KFC fucking radio, whatever the fuck he's just talking about, for them to sort of be rejoicing in someone exposing Brendan Sharp because they don't like him is a bit. Yeah. But this one's next one's Bert Kreischer, and fuck me. This is what I mean because so far it's like I don't I don't even know that bird that the top is. I know Whitney Cummings, but I could give a fuck about Whitney Cummings to be fair. Um, I don't know that bird that the top is, but I know Bobby Lee's missus. So that, I don't know who she is, but Bobby Lee's missus is obviously Bobby Lee's missus. So, but now that Bert Kreischer, like this one is bottom one's Bert Kreischer. So. It will be, oh yeah, this what your butt crush has to say. Leanne's with me, by the way. I'm gonna... Yeah, I was gonna say, it's like now it's a proper, legit motherfucker saying something. Bring her to the studio tomorrow. We're doing another episode tomorrow. I want her to see this. Cause what I... do you think, the wife number two? Like, what is she? Where you? What like? What's the age range? You think? Leanne's with me, by the way. I'm gonna bring her to the studio tomorrow. We're doing another episode tomorrow. I want her to see this. Cause what I... do you think? wife number two like what is she where you what like what's the age range you think you're looking in uh i need her to i i just realized this the other day so i started fantasizing about um uh marrying a woman like amsterdam and then having a like a, a child that skates on the on the canals and i i show up and, his, and he's like papa like you know <laughs> and i was like <laughs> i go i need her to be young yeah. keep up with him oh like, right yeah yeah you know like you know leanne's with your kids right now and she's gonna be exhausted yeah, in yeah. like fucking 20 minutes. So are you thinking like like 27? I started going younger than 35. I, 35 had always been my age. 
Actually, I've, I've really thought about this a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. Okay, so I want her to be famous. I want her to be famous. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. a new criteria. Yeah, and she needs to take a bullet. Like, you need a villain to take a bullet for you so I can still have a career. Okay, so what is, what, is, what is the bullet she needs to take? So, like, I don't want to use our friends' names of guys we know that are yeah. famous comedians that are dating people and cheating on their chicks. Uh -huh. But, like, it's kind of badass to see, like, the woman fucking take the charge. And the guy kind of sit off to the side like a bullfighter and be like, but and I... How did that expose Brendan Sharp? Is that me saying there? The, where you, what, like, what's the age range you think you're looking in? Uh, I need her to, I, I just realized this the other day. So I started fantasizing about um, uh, marrying a woman like Amsterdam and then having a, like a, a child that skates on the, on the canals. And I, I show up and, his, and he's like, Papa, like, you know, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I go, I need her to be young. Yeah. Keep up with him. Like, oh, right. Yeah, yeah, you know. Like, you know Leanne's with your kids right now, and she's going to be exhausted yeah, yeah. in, like, fucking 20 minutes. So are you thinking, like, like 27? I started going younger than 35. I, 35 had always been my age. Actually, I've, I've really thought about this a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. Okay, so I want her to be famous. I want her to be famous. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely a new criteria. Yeah, and she needs to take a bullet. Like, you need a villain to take a bullet for you so I can still have a career. Okay, so what is, what, is, what is the bullet she needs to take? So, like, I don't want to use our friends' names of guys we know that are yeah. famous comedians that are dating people and cheating on their chicks. Uh -huh. But, like, it's kind of badass to see, like, the woman fucking take the charge. And the guy comes. Uh -huh. But, like, it's kind of badass to see, like, friends' names of guys we know that are yeah. famous comedians that are dating people and cheating on their chicks. Uh -huh. But, like, it's kind of badass to see, like, the one. That doesn't fucking mean it's Brendan Sharp. What's all this fucking hate for Brendan? I mean, I know, like, I know people say, like, he's a shit fighter, he's a shit comedian. But he's been successful at, well, he's, like, made money and, and made a name for himself in everything he's done. Um, I don't think I want to, like, I don't mean but, I mean like just people's general dislike for Brendan out in the world. Like the average Joe commenting on YouTube or whatever. Um, what's all the hate for Brendan? But this one's Brendan's... Bobby Lee's wife. Oh yeah, this is about... This, now you're getting into saying where Brendan's a cunt. Because... This is Bobby Lee's wife saying basically that Brendan suing her, her, them to her and Bobby Lee's wife. So let's go. Brendan Schaub is on the war path with the lawsuits. I would know something about this, but Bobby Lee's girlfriend and Annie Lederman have just revealed that he is threatening to sue them behind the scenes. Let's check it out, and I'll give you my thoughts on it. Do you, um, do you want to go ahead? All right, I actually do want to come out. There's been a lot of uh, a certain oh no a certain walk and a certain like vehicle <laughs> up to a vehicle, and I want to say the initials are BS, but he did pass away recently in a hotel room, so I don't want to out him. <laughs> <laughs> He, um, a man, yes, it was a comedian with the initials BS that wanted me to walk him to his truck, but he is, he has passed in, in Florida. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, may his soul rest. He's a good person. He's a good person. Oh. Oh, boy. Well, if you, I mean, I don't think we've ever addressed this on our show, but... Dumois, did, I think we cut that out when we talked about it, Did right? we? We did. Okay, let's get juicy with it. So, Dumois is a celebrity, like, gossip account, and a couple, maybe about a month ago, they posted something about 
our show and we know it was about our show because it had the word bloodbath in it and it had like other oh it had oh you know it could have been about that other bloodbath show (laughs) oh wait (laughs) nobody talks about that show (laughs) and um they're never gonna give us the name back (laughs) we want the fucking yeah i know we want the name give us the fucking name so we um it, this post on the gossip site said, like, this popular podcast, which we were like, hey, girl, thanks for calling us popular. <sighs> and uh, it said that we had a lot of controversy behind the scenes and tension. That we, had, we were a part of a big scandal. And oh. that the tension you were feeling was real amongst Nobody us. Nobody felt any tension. But that scandal that they were referring to had nothing to do with the three of us. And it was because... Go ahead. Uh, of, it, it's potentially we were threat being threatened uh, a lawsuit, uh, and I'm like scared to even say that out we loud. We can't really. We just won't say the name, right? But we we'll won't. Just... Yeah, but someone was yeah, like behind it. the scenes threatening to sue us. Like we never want to address like certain like either rumors or no. things like that. But I genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, if someone were to just point blank oh, ask me even the the craziest question, I have nothing to hide like ask me i'm yeah. not threatened by it so the threats right. don't actually threaten whatever me. the Please. threat is that we don't want to talk about because we don't want to like add to it because even the thing that started it all was really just an anonymous anecdote and i'll that say this kind of to like that person up, yeah. to that person who threatened us i'll say this you think you have a one over me i fucking dare you motherfucker <laughs> i dare you let it out of your chest because that is actually not a real threat you think you're threatening me but it's kind of that information's already out there, you little bitch. Can, yeah. Uh, can confirm. Yeah. There's she yeah. can confirm. She can confirm. Bobby can it's confirm. It's just also, I just want to say this like, my currency is not money. My currency and where I see value power is in jokes. So I'm rich and you're broke, bitch. So come <laughs> after me. You've got nothing on me, you unfunny piece of shit. Come for me, I dare you. And on that note. So, damn. Well, that pretty much just outs everything. They were talking about Brendan Schaub, definitely, trying to walk him to the truck. And this is the reason why Brendan Schaub has gotten so Sue happy. And it seems behind the scenes has threatened to sue them. Now, Brendan Schaub suing YouTubers for frivolous things like copyright infringement, that's one thing that nobody really will ultimately care about, especially in the comedy community. However, threatening to sue another comedian's girlfriend for just telling a story and never confirming that it was you, but never denying and everyone knew who they were talking about, but to be threatened behind the scenes, a lawsuit over that, wow, what an embarrassment. And the most embarrassing thing, by the way, now, is not even Brendan Schaub. It's all the people behind Brendan Schaub. It's the Brian Cowens, the Sam Tripolis, the Joe Rogans. Your boy is out here suing people for making fun of him and telling stories about him, and they didn't even confirm it was him. And this man is supposed to be a comedian. No, he's a rich kid playing comedian with daddy's money. Ugh, so pathetic. And these... I actually quite like their little take on it, though, them girls. They fucking, well, proper called the night in that one. I, I like Kalila's fucking do sank. Do sank, then. Yeah. Okay, I don't know. I want to see what the rest of him, what he's saying. Girls just tell a funny story, never confirm it's him. And Annie Lederman even said on an episode a while back, I won't reply to your walk me to my truck comments. And that's probably when they first got threatened with a little lawsuit. So Brendan Schaub is a coward who likes to do things behind the scenes, sue people and threaten lawsuits. I wonder how that conversation went, just to threaten the lawsuit. Like he probably had his lawyer send him a letter saying, shut up or we'll sue you. What a 
awkward thing to do. You can't though, can you? You can't actually sue if it's true, can you? I'm pretty sure you can't. I'm pretty sure if something's true, if someone's saying true shit about you, then yeah, it's not slander. And if Brendan Schaub is in such an open relationship with his wife that everyone seems to claim, dude, it, it's, it's fine, his wife doesn't care, then why all the lawsuits? Mm. I, you know, I just find it hilarious that this dude behind well, the scenes... I suppose you could, say, you could say that there's a lawsuit because if me and my girlfriend decide to have an open relationship or that she allows him to fuck other girls, she might allow that but still not want people to know about it. But then if that's the case, then tell people like them. Tell the fucking girls that you're... But then I suppose, yeah, then that can get exposed. So maybe it could be that, like, maybe she said, oh, I don't give a fuck. As long as you pay for the house, you look after the kids, then fucking, you can go and fuck whoever you want. Um, and I, and or, like, I'll do the same or whatever, but she might not want it just out in the public that, yeah, her baby daddy is fucking other girls or whatever, I like. It's threatening to sue another comedian's wife or girlfriend. And another comedian. Andy Lederman is just a comedian. He's starting to sue another comedian for telling a story where she never says it was him. Although in this video, she pretty much just didn't confirm that his initials are BS. <laughs> but we all knew it was him. Because it's an easy thing to know. Oh, the idiots on those videos I made when they were like, they never said his name. How do you know they're talking about? It? It's like, dude, you had, do you know what two plus two is? Do you know what that equals? Can you see the forest through the trees? Can you figure things out? But it was obvious they were talking about Brendan Schaub. And obviously this man is behind the scenes trying to sue people. <laughs> I get going after YouTubers, but after other comedians and stuff too. Wow, wow, that is um, oof, it's a quite a big matzo ball there. I wonder if like now that this news has come out, if it'll cause like a rift within the comedy community. Like, if you're Bobby Lee and Brendan Chobb threatens to see your girlfriend. You can't, like, mm. mess with Brendan Schaub anymore and, like, be cool with him. And, like, Bobby Lee has his comedian dudes, like Santino and stuff. So, I don't know, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. Mm. Yeah, let me know the same. Because, I don't know, there is a part of me that just thinks, like, whatever. It's not more... <laughs> Yeah, it's up to Brandon. But on the other side, if there's, if you're fucking trying to chat up girls that have podcasts and have their own platform to talk about it, and they know you and they know your wife and know you're together, like you're sort of asking for trouble, really. Unless you think like you're so fucking good looking that, or you're so great that them girls wouldn't spill the beans on you or something but but yeah I don't really get the Burt Kreischer one the Whitney Cummings one seemed a bit more like mm, um, a bit more like a something to like they're beefing more or like she's just well I don't know but the, yeah, the collider in that one, and the him suing them, that's mad. I'm surprised uh, Bobby hasn't said anything about it. But yeah, let me know what you think. Let's see.